And as hundreds of thousands of people try to escape Ukraine, we spoke to one Carolina family fighting to get their loved one out of the country safely. WCNC Charlotte's Jesse Pierre is live in Uptown with more on this family's ordeal. Jesse, hitting close to home. Absolutely, yes. Brooke Prince tells me that she is very worried about her 83-year-old grandmother, Helena, who lives alone in Ukraine. She tells me that her grandmother is terrified and waking up to sounds of bombings. Brooke says that her grandmother, that her grandmother's life has been turned upside down, just like many Ukrainian citizens, adding that she is devastated by what she is seeing happen to the place she calls home. Brooke says for the last five years, her family have been in the process of getting Helena's a visa to come to the U.S., especially after her grandfather passed away. In fact, they were at the very last leg of it with Helena's visa interview scheduled for February 23rd, but that was canceled because of the war. Brooke says the clock is ticking as they fight to get her grandmother out of the country, and she says it is even more critical now that President Vladimir Putin ordered Russian nu nuclear forces to be put on high alert. You can literally hear the fear in her voice. I'm terrified. I'm scared and I'm not surprised. I think Russia will do anything it takes um, to achieve what they want to achieve right now. When you start to, to get nuclear weaponry involved, we're not just talking about Kiev anymore. We're talking about the world. Brooke shared a post on Facebook and tells me she is overwhelmed by the level of support, but also the number of people coming together to help and connect resources to get her grandmother evacuated. They are hoping to get someone who can transport Helena to the border so she can travel to Poland safely. Now, there has been a growing support for Ukraine and several protests against the war held here in Charlotte, with folks calling for peace, many concerned for loved ones who are still in Ukraine. Now, we do know that another demonstration is scheduled here tomorrow ahead of the city council meeting. Live in Uptown, Jesse Pierre, WCNC Charlotte.